President Muhammadu Buhari has stressed that he is trying to make sure that the All Progressive Congress APC is built on a civilized basis, rule of law and respect for human rights and human beings, right from polling units to local government areas to states up to Abuja. The newsguru.com TNG reports President Buhari stated this on Friday when he received the newly elected governor of Edo State, Governor Gordon Obaseki, his deputy Philip Shaibu, and a number of their supporters at the State House in Abuja, the Federal Capital Territory, on Friday. Thanking Governor Obaseki for bringing his deputy Shaibu and his supporters to see him after defeating the APC in the just concluded Edo State governorship election. Wari said, trying to make sure that the APC is built on a civilized basis, rule of law and respect for human rights and human beings is what he has been insisti insisting as his contribution to the National Working Committee, NWC, and the executives of the APC advertisements. Buhari, who, is, who in his brief remarks during the visit, seemed trying to woo the governor back to the APC, said he's supposed to preside over the over all Nigerian interests, whether he likes it or not, and that the message he got across the to the Inspector General of Police was that elections must be free and fair, and that his single desire is to make sure that innocent people don't suffer. Oh, cool, cool. Hmm. The president said, I thank you for bringing your deputy and supporters to come and see me after beating my party. I am supposed to preside over all Nigerian interests, whether I like it or not, but my single desire is to make sure that innocent people don't suffer. I am supposed to preside, preside, yes, over all Nigerians' interests, whether I like it or not. But my single desire is to make sure that innocent people don't go suffering. That message I got across to the Inspector General of Police, that election must be free and fair. If contestants have too much money and they decide to spray, so be it. But what I insist is nobody should go and raise a counter force to the government. I'm heavily drugged talks to go and humiliate people. I want Nigerians to appreciate that I respect them as Nigerians and that I am bound by the oath I have taken that their security is in the hands of God and in the hands of the government which I am leading. I am trying to make sure that the party is built on a civilized basis, rule of law and respect for human rights and human beings, right from polling units to local government to state up to Abuja, and that is what I have been insisting as my contribution to the NWC and executive of the party. I know we are a developing country, a developing economy, and trying to dis develop our political culture. I want the development of political culture to be based on integrity and accountability. Let people work very hard and earn what they are looking for through their handwork and through their competition. Well, why it seemed that the president was trying to woo the Edo state governor back to the APC, Governor Baseki had said he cannot return to the party after he defeated, defected to seek re-election in the People's Democratic Party, PDP. Obaseki who won re-election last Saturday on the platform of the PDP after defeating Pastor Sageze Yamu of the APC. Shortly after the meeting with the president, said it would be immoral for him to return to APC. Responding to questions from newsmen after meeting Buhari, he affirmed that leaving the PDP for the APC goes against Buhari's gospel of integrity. Huh? Hmm. He also said he would not replace Oshomole as the new godfather of Edo State, <clears throat> of, Edo, of, the, of Edo policies. Also, Governor Yeson Wiki of River State has said the go Edo governor was free to join any party he chose to, but said on moral grounds Obaseki would not take such a decision because he was given an umbrella when he was left in the cold. Mm -hmm. When he was left in the cold and when he was stripped naked. I think that should be added to that. Hmm. Well, 
Whether he's trying to woo the uh, the governor, mm -hmm. now they so called the most important thing do the bidding of the people. Whosoever have already that has always been my stand. Whosoever that becomes the leader, the most important thing is for you to do the bidding of the people. There should be she shouldn't be tribalism or nepotism or any form of incompetence or try to to favor some people over others. That is what we we hate as a people. So as a governor, do the right thing. All the all your promises, all the work that you have not finished, this is the time for you to finish them and get them done so that you leave your name on that plate of gold. You leave your name in the in the hearts of the people and it's gonna be a good thing. We know the ones that have derailed, the one that started on a good note, but at the end of the day, they was they derailed and they became so powerful. They arrogated a lot of power to themselves. At the end of the day, what can we say that we have we have gained? We have people who are learned. Most of them are in the government uh, at the end of affairs. But what do they do? They turn their their back, you know, other people and begin to do their own bidding. And that's how we are having problems. So if this man wants to go in the line of uh, whatever, that is not a it's inconsequential. The most important thing, let the people enjoy uh, your government and don't disappoint the people. Whether APC or PDP, the most important thing, what matters to uh, an average Nigerian man is for him or her to be able to put food on his table, on our table. That is what is paramount. So that whatever they want, they get it, not with stress, but at ease they get it. That is what is important. If things are going fine, you cannot say, oh, yes, so things are going fine, but I want somebody to be there. What do you want the person that you want to be there to do? Is it not for things to move forward? So whatever that is, do whatever that is there, you know, should be able to do the right thing and, you know, let everybody be happy to a very, very large extent. That's it. To a very, very, very large extent. So politicians, you know them, after some time now, they can do that. Just like a week, told him that you are free to yeah, yeah, join any party of your church, but I know he will not even try it because he, he has already, he left a caveat that when he needed when he was left in the cold, the umbrella saved him. So, like they always say, a word is enough for the wise. If he wants to go the other way, fine. Those who rejected you want to go back to them, good and fine. If Obaye Buari wants to woo him to his side, why did he not intervene? Why did he not call Oshomole to order so that they wouldn't have screened him out? Well, maybe they did their best. Oshomole was bent on doing what he wanted to do because he never envisaged that he was going to be removed as a, a APC national chairman. He never saw it. So he believed that oh, he still had that power. But maybe everything could be orchestrated because there was already a case in the court. They just facilitated it and removed him because of uh, all those uh, uh, grandstanding. You know, who knows? So they, they would have done the needful. They would have done the needful by not allowing him to live in the first place. And again, he would have won. He would have won hands down. So... Let's hear your opinion. Leave your comment, guys. Let us know whether uh, Obaseki might want to fall for uh, this, uh, this sweet talk from a Buari. Thank you.